Well, back in the valley tonight, we're looking for showers. There aren't many around. There's stuff all around the valley, but not in the valley. We think that will probably change, but it's going to take a little while for it to happen. Last 24 hours, we've seen spotty showers overhead, but as we push it back, as expected, the more significant rain is north of the valley up in North Texas, Oklahoma, over to Southeast Texas, and really this area of Southeast Texas, Houston, northward uh, to maybe Tyler, Lufkin, then down to Beaumont. That area is probably going to see a fair amount of rain over the next couple of days. Our warm front is already moving north of the valley, so that's why we're able to get up into the 80s today. It will continue pushing northward tomorrow. As it does, we will definitely be warmer. We'll probably be more humid tomorrow. A lot of clouds. I think it'll be overcast again. There will probably be a few showers around, but spotty stuff, not widespread rain, not like they're going to see north of that front. This is where the bigger rain is going to be. We're going to be on the edge of it. By Sunday, that low pressure area forms and moves east of the valley, and certainly by 5 p.m., that front will be east of us. May happen quite a bit earlier than that. Temperatures will go up until that front goes through. So you could, especially the lower valley, touch the upper 70s. Upper valley may stay a lot cooler than that during the daytime on Sunday. By Monday, the front pulls away. The big upper air low begins to lift out. So dry air builds into the valley for a couple of days. Then look the next week, not Tuesday, not Wednesday, but Thursday. Here comes the next front racing through. Now it's looking like the clouds may linger for a while behind that. So it will turn much cooler, much cooler air will build in. It's a question of whether the daytimes are going to warm up much at all. And if the clouds hang around, we may stay in the 50s all day Friday. So it could be significantly cooler for the second half of next week. Let's look at the rainfall totals that we expect over the next couple of days. And again, the bullseye for the most rain appears to be in southeast Texas, all the way back to about Austin, but three to six inches. You see it's way up on the top of the chart here for the valley, and we're looking at an inch or less. Of course, if you get a quarter of an inch of rain during the parade, that could put a damper on things, right? So take your rain gear tomorrow just in case if you're going to the big parade. A few showers tomorrow, then rain likely on Sunday. Monday morning, some leftover showers, and then we're mainly dry after that. Temperatures, we're going 69 right now for a high on Sunday. Parts of the valley, especially the lower valley, probably warmer than that and then cooling off. We're back to 87 by Wednesday and then 64.55 for Thursday and Friday. If you're traveling tomorrow, just count on wet weather across most of Texas. 52 in the morning in San Antonio, 47 Dallas. Notice the rain just persists across the state and temperatures stay a whole lot cooler up there than what we're going to be here. So tonight for us, cloudy skies with a couple of showers, 72 for your low. Tomorrow back to 84 with a lot of clouds. It'll be breezy. In fact, for a while in the afternoon, it might be downright windy, especially near the coast with a shower or spotty thunderstorm. I'm not going to see most areas stay dry. Anybody can see a shower. Hopefully they won't be long lasting showers. It'll be kind of splash and dash kind of thing. Sunday, though, I think rainy and cooler in the afternoon. Monday, we start with a shower, end up with sunshine. Then after that, sun hangs in there until the next front. Late Wednesday, early Thursday, turns it cooler again. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.